Well, hi guys. Backwaters Brenton. Here to give you another update on the shanty boat. I see the light at the end of the tunnel coming. Here's my helper, Wavy Gravy. So this is the bike I would like to take on this trip. It would fit across the front there. And these are uh, Trail 90s. This one's actually a 110, but they're pretty much the same thing. And they're meant to ride on the back of uh, RVs and stuff, and so they have this handle to turn the bars sideways to keep them out of your way. Uh, but I think it's probably a little too heavy. Um, and I can I have tried everything to get this headlight to stay working. It keeps burning out bulbs. They have a six volt system and I am completely mystified. I've worked on it and worked on it to the point where I just ride it during the day now. I might get back to it, but I've had other stuff going on, obviously. So I'm probably gonna bring my little Honda Elite 50, which weighs less than 100 pounds, and it's, you know, it'll get the job done. Okay, let me show you what else I've been doing lately. So I got the, uh, the badges on. I've used all recycled material from um, I think this was from the seats. Cut it out and there you go. I let's see what else I did here. Okay, so I plumbed the propane tank into the heater. Um, obviously, just fasten those to the wall. I'm going to have two, so I can have two tanks if I want. Though I don't think I'll need it, because I'm sure I'll have enough places to stop. I put some pole holders on. Right now I've got the net and the hook, and those two. And it's kind of cool, this door just kind of jams up against that and stays open, so. I put a table in, and it is removable, everything but that base. Uh, and then one person can sit there and one person can turn that seat around and they could sit this way and eat and play checkers and whatever, you know? Um, kind of cleaned up over here. Obviously got to do some more cleaning up, but uh, that's starting to come together. I rerouted the wiring, made it a little prettier. I think this will be a good place for the the cooler it'll double as a as a table um, and I'm gonna use some more of these milk crates like those and put them up here and make them little storage bins um, might do that today we'll see how that goes I put this little bucket down here for holding maps and just this is this and that's and of course uh, coffee holder that's a uh, rubber backed rug that I'll probably use out there in the front put up some more of this rope Probably put some more. I have more. I might go around the door. I think I'll go around the cabin tree. I've got all these old license plates. I've got, I mean, I used to be in the used car business and I would uh, buy and sell little economical cars like uh, Geo Metros, Ford Festivas, things like that. And I often usually kept the plates off of them when I sold them so I have these piles of them and uh, what I did is I went through and pulled out different states uh, that I will be passing through on this trip like Missouri Florida of course and Arkansas and Minnesota stuff like that and I'm gonna incorporate them into the motif but I'm still not quite sure how I might just kind of put them randomly in different places or I might use them for the fronts of those milk crates, you know. I'll just kind of 
wing that and see what looks the best. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Make a little piece of wood where that goes through just to keep the, the water from going into the wall. I'll probably caulk right along there. I did some caulking up on the roof. Oh, I got something I can show you. Okay. So, here is the awning frame that came with it. And I obviously de-sheathed it. And what I have is a tarp that I cut that I can roll out. Uh, let me show you. <laughs> and uh, on days that aren't too windy, this will be the shade. Um, I might make some like ropes with some, you know, pieces of driftwood, little some weight that hangs on the sides, like two of them I can just kind of throw over. I don't know if you guys have ever seen like the old uh, roofs in Ireland and such where they would just like thatched roofs and then they would throw these ropes with um, rocks on them to keep it lashed down. I might do something like that just to give it a little more rigidity on the sides there. Because as it stands now, I can really only use it when there's no wind at all, so. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my solution, my no budget, low budget solution. I cut two tarps, so when this one wears out, I can just replace it. Uh, I'll stuff it somewhere. Got another chair there. I'm gonna have to raise this one up so I can see out the windows properly when I'm driving. So, yeah, I think that's all I can show you. Um, this weekend, I am going to visit Wayne of Wayne's World slash uh, Wayne's Diaries, is what he calls his channel now. Um, he's the one that really got me thinking about shanty boats. So, uh, and I, this will be like the third time I've visited him. I'm going to stick around for a whole weekend. And I'm going to get uh, interview him. So I'm going to plan it all out, try to do a good job. Obviously, I'm, you know, I don't know how to edit or anything like that. I hope to teach myself when I have all the time in the world on the river. I've looked into some programs that I can put on my phone. I might even replace my phone before I go. And uh, then I can give you guys some quality, better quality videos. So, but at the end of the day, I always figure, you know, the subject matter is what counts in all the flash and graphics and things like that, you know, oftentimes takes away from the videos in my opinion so I it'll be simple if I do get into editing it's gonna be real simple stuff but it'll be able to I'll be able to span a full day as opposed to just kind of doing these captured you know one long scene thing that has its place but I think once the trip gets going you know some editing would, would come in would come in well so uh, but yeah I'm gonna do an interview with Wayne I've already discussed it with him and Hopefully the other folks that are doing shanty boat stuff and have this interest will think that's pretty awesome. And um, so yeah, look forward to that. And uh, until then, I will catch you guys later.